What's up YouTube? In today's video we're going to be slow roasting a boneless shoulder of lamb Greek style over some potatoes nice low and slow until the lamb is melting your mouth tender first of all the lamb's been taken out wait for it to get up to room temp probably takes around 45 minutes to an hour and whilst that's occurring we're going to prepare a wet rub so you get yourself some rosemary you can just pull the leaves off the stem pretty easy you just go the opposite direction to where the leaves are and they pull off quite cleanly as you can see there doesn't matter if you're completely perfect uh, they can still be clumped together because you're going to blitz them with the other ingredients which are some lemon zest Depending on how big your lemons are, will obviously depend on how many you use. I've just gone for three small ones. Not sure why, but this one decided to almost explode on me, so I didn't uh, get enough yield. I'm going to uh, probably work on that a little bit more. Added to that, we're going to add about five or six cloves of garlic. A little tip if you want to get the skins off quick. Is just use the end of a, um, a pestle um, if you've got one handy just give it a dig and it just gets the uh, breaks the the skin of the clove makes it easy to remove put some pepper in there as well I like to use a mortar and pestle just give it a good grind in there <clears throat> so I've got a little mini chopper so I've popped the ingredients there I'm going to add a tablespoon of salt if you've got some shallots, use them. I don't, but I've got some leftover white onion. So I'm just going to add about a fifth of an onion to the blender. And then around two tablespoons of olive oil. And then to that, the juice of one lemon. That's half. And there goes the other half. Happy days. This is when we pray. Oh, I won't ruin your ears, but you can see it's working pretty well. Just going to give that a couple more blitzes. And then we're going to be able to get it ready for the lamb. And we'll get the potatoes ready. So we're going to have lemon potatoes, as I mentioned earlier. So I'd normally opt for some baby potatoes. Um, but I didn't have any. Uh, so I'm going to use some King Edward Spuds. So I'm just going to give them a clean. Get rid of any manky bits. And I'm going to chop them up into... Uh, probably a centimetre thick uh, discs if you will and uh, mix them with some olive oil, lemon, some oregano as well a pinch of black pepper, salt So in the end I've gone for around I don't know 6-7mm, something like that, thickness roughly um, I'm going. I'm using the uh, casserole dish by the Cruze. <coughs> I should imagine I can sit that on there quite nicely and um, tent it with foil without any problems. But this is my first time doing this recipe, so we'll see. So now I need to get the oregano, some olive oil in there. As I said before some lemon juice can't be lemon potatoes without it right now I'll stick the lid on and give it a good shake to combine whilst you are prepping your potatoes whack your oven on full to around 400 degrees 450 sorry Fahrenheit which is about <coughs> 230 Celsius something like that basically as high it will go as high as it will go uh, assuming that you're using a domestic home oven 
So I've given them a good shake and uh, it's time to get the rub on the lamb and in the oven. Before we get the lamb ready, just want to get some, you want to get some stock. I'm using chicken stock, run around roughly four or five hundred mils. Um, you want to get the stock around halfway up the volume of potatoes. So I cover half the potatoes with stock. Um, I'm using 400 mils. This way I get the most out of the stock cube and if I need to add more water, I can do it. It's pretty straightforward. With the stock added, I applied the rub to lamb. Inserted the meter probe around halfway. And now I'm going to get it in the oven for 15 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, aka full whack, to give it a brown. After 15 minutes, set the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 Celsius, and then cover with foil. Depending on your setup, you may need a couple of sheets like I do, as my foil is not the longest. Then, if it's set 149, leave it for an hour. Come back, remove the foil, and then continue cut, cooking at the same temperature until the meat's tender. I've got my meat probe in there, so I'm going to be looking for fall apart uh, tender. Here goes nothing. An hour in, the foil's off. Now we're going to leave it cooking away 150 until it reach, reaches fall apart tenderness. So the meter says we're two hours in and we're at 70 degrees. Let's have a look. Bit foggy. It's starting to look really nice. Nice colouring on the lamb there. Potatoes are starting to look. Beautiful golden. Reckons there's an hour left. We'll see. So I've just done one last baste. 16 minutes to go. Looking tasty, guys. Looking tasty. It does look burnt, but I uh, know it isn't. Ah! Ah! So yeah, oh, if it is burnt, I'll let you know uh, in the uh, in the next scene or so. So I decided to add the Inkbird barbecue probe, and uh, this is registering 95 Celsius. Show you how we are now. Meat is still at 94. Tastes all looking golden. Doesn't look as much now that the starch has been released by them, so I think next time I will <coughs> put in the full recommended three pounds. I did put a bit less in. Uh, where is the? Here we go. Here we go. Less than five minutes to go, and we are ready. I did probe it earlier with a um, kebab stick uh, skewer, if you will, and it was probing soft uh, in places. Uh, and that was about 10 minutes ago. It wasn't completely probing like butter throughout, so I'm hoping these next few minutes will get the rest of the meat over the line. <coughs> and here it is. Lamb, boneless lamb shoulder. Does look a little bit crispy on top, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Potatoes look magic. Let's get some on a plate. Give it a taste. And there she is, carved up. Super, super moist. Looks super tasty. Let's get it plated and scrammed. 